Hello and welcome to Excel tip number eight. We are going to do some bar and column graphs as well as pie charts. So I just pulled some data from um, WolframAlpha.com for this, where we have a couple cities, some population, um, crime rates, so these are in crimes per 100,000 people per year, and then the median household income, so just so we can play around with some things. So probably one of the easiest things, um, or one of the best updates actually in Excel, is that we can now select some data, and we can go to Insert, and we, just, we didn't used to have this Recommended Charts button, we used to have to pick um, what sort of chart we wanted. So if we go to recommended charts though, usually it does a, a decent job. Um, so we actually have a couple, the three charts that we are going to make in this video are recommended, which is great. So let's look at um, these charts. So let's first look at, this is called a um, bar chart, a clustered bar. So let's look at what it looks like when we put it in. So a lot of times, you know, what I like to do with charts is I like to move the chart into a new sheet. And we're going to call this population bar. Just so that way you can see it gets a little bit bigger. It's its own sheet. And I can even move the sheets a little bit. So now it's, you know, decently able to see. But actually the text is really small. So the other thing I can do, what's nice about um, Excel is that just like we were change the font and anything else, we can change the font here and use the um, increase font size. So this is going to increase the font size of everything, which I like. So this looks a lot, you know, a lot better. So there's other other things that I can do. The first thing is let's change the chart title. I always want you to have a chart title. So this is population of some United States cities. And then I always want to see axis titles. So you see how I did that? I hit the plus, and then I went to axis titles. And then I can add, I can just type in the axis titles. So this is city, and this is population. The other thing with this chart is it's a little hard to read this, this um, horizontal axis. So what we can do is if we want to add it, edit some of the chart features, we can right click on that horizontal axis. And then we're going to format the axis. So we can format most things on the chart. So this is going to give us some options. So if we look at the labels, So the text direction here, if we look at the, so there's a couple different options here. So we're going to want alignment. So the text direction, let's see if we rotate it all 90 how it looks. So that looks pretty good. Um, but let's see if we can, um, you know, what about stacked? That doesn't look so good. Yeah, so the 90 doesn't look too bad. And we can move the population to right here, so that way it looks a little bit better. So this is a sort of a better representation. So this chart's looking pretty good right now. So you can see, I always want to see titles and access titles um, on a chart. It always looks much cleaner that way. So that's sort of um, you know the idea. The other thing we could do, the, maybe the population, maybe I want it in the center here, so I could move this up a little bit. So you can see, Excel sort of makes it you know the easiest thing to learn to to how to learn this is just to play around with it. Um, and so that's what you'll be doing in the future. So that's, so that's sort of a, um, you know, that's one of the charts we wanted to make. So let's look again, if we go back to this population data and we can go to insert recommended charts. So we could do the bars, the same, same, or I'm sorry, this one was the bar. We could do the column. It's the same sort of thing. Um, for some reason, I always like the, um, a column better. I think it's more visually pleasing, but other people like the bar better. So whatever you think is, is, is nice. So now we're going to talk about the pie chart. But what I'm going to do is instead of, um, oh, I didn't want to put that in there. And if you want to delete a chart, you just select the outside of the chart and hit um, delete, and it'll go away. So in this case, I'm going to do the include the rest of the USA in this pie chart. Again, go to Insert Recommended Chart. And you can sort of see right away the pie chart, the rest of the USA takes this up, and then New York is a little sliver. 
So this is used to show proportions of a whole, you know, so how big. So this is the slice of New York City as the whole U.S. So it's not that big of a proportion of the whole U.S. So I wanted to show you that um, just to give you, this might be a, a better way to do it if we had all the big cities in here. But since we're doing some smaller cities, let's just do the proportion of all of the smaller cities, all of these cities. And we'll insert that pie chart. And again, I like to, you don't have to do this necessarily, but I like to move the charts in the new sheet. So I'll just do a pie population chart. So this gives us, we can see that New York, and maybe, maybe if we can get this a little bit bigger. We can see that New York makes up a large proportion of this, um, of these cities' population. And then Philadelphia is the next biggest. And then Baltimore and Washington, D.C. Are, are about even. And then all the other ones are tiny little slivers. I don't even know if you can see Lewis on there. Um, so that gives you an idea of the sort of the proportion of that. So that's what pie charts are good at. They're good at showing proportions of a whole. And that is the end of this video. Thanks for watching.